Hello, my name is Muhammad Usman and I'm the first and only Pakistani in the world with a FIM race license and a coaching license as well. So I race motorcycles professionally all across. I started off my career, um, I think about eight years ago, racing motorcycles professionally. And as I was growing up in my house, we had quite a few cars. So I, you know, there was always that aspect of motorsports in my house due to my dad and my brother. Um, and I think it was only when my friend bought a bike and he asked me to try it that I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, and then ever since, you know, it's just been bikes all around. So I practiced for quite a while, you know, almost a few years, three to four years. I was just on the track, riding, practicing, and then I started racing. So for me to be able to race anywhere in the world, I need a racing license. So I applied for it. You go through assessments and stuff. Um, once I completed it, turns out I'm the first and only Pakistani in the world with a FIM race license. Um, with regards to this specific theme, the livery that I have on the bike, um, I was in Pakistan a few months ago, uh, conversations around building a new track in Pakistan. And as I traveled around different cities, um, one of the things that I saw cut across Pakistan was that stood out for me was the truck theme that we have in Pakistan, the truck livery. Um, it's something very unique to Pakistan, uh, it, you know, it's, it's a massive industry now, you see people with truck art on different things, recently there was a plane that had a truck art as well. Yeah, so the design was actually done in Pakistan. So when the idea came about in terms of, you know, putting the truck art on my suit, on my helmet and my bike, um, we got this design done in Pakistan. So my agency and a very creative designer in Pakistan, they got together, they had the blueprints for my bike in terms of all the measurements. They got together, put the design together and after almost, you know, a few weeks of deliberation, finalizing the design, it, it, it looked incredible on, on, on a piece of paper. Um, from then onwards, then the design came in here and um, there's a company in Dubai that does all of my wraps. So every time I have my bike painted, sorry, I, I, you know, the, the, the wrapping on my bike, every time it goes in, whether it's for the race season or if it's for summer testing or anything, they do it for me. So we went into them and they looked at the design and the first thing they said, they were like, it is very complicated, it's going to take a lot of time, but they were quite happy to do it because it's very unique and this was the first time they were actually working with truck art. So they looked took the design and then it took them almost two to three weeks, you know, get everything right from making sure the measurements are right to making sure that everything is in sync the different body panels finally the first time i actually saw the bike that was done it just looked incredible and not just myself even they were quite impressed with what they had done it was an incredible looking bike they've never done something like this so that came about you know my bike was ready and all good to go they also did my helmet just to make sure that it matches my bike so even that took quite a while because the helmet's a bit tricky because it's a round surface, it took them a bit more time to just get it right. But once that was done, then it was time for the suit. So the suit actually was made, it's always made in Pakistan. It's a, it's, it's a company in Pakistan that sponsors me and they make all my suits. So this time around, they also took up the challenge of putting this design on the suit. It's very, very tricky to put this on the suit because it's kangaroo leather. So the printing and everything is a bit complicated. However, they took up the task um, and they got the whole suit done for me as well. It took almost a month to get my suit done. So you will find all those smaller messages that you see behind trucks behind rickshaws in Pakistan, you will find something similar on my suit at the back, at the front and on the bike.